Sanvi and in this particular video I am going to share you my interview experience of a Prime Minister Research Fellowship. Um, I have done my majors in Chemical Engineering and I have a PMRF interview uh, for May 2019. So I am in this particular uh, video I am just going to brief what was my experience and how the entire procedure took place. Um, so let's get started. Uh, my PMRF uh, interview took place at IB Ghaninagar for subject of chemical engineering once my application had been shortlisted for the interview process. Uh, about 100 candidates were being called for interview and divided across uh, two days so 50 on each. So there were two rounds of interviews. The first one was the knockout round and the second one was final round. Um, so after document verification, candidates were being called uh, as per the role course. The for, for the first uh, round, I was interviewed by a panel of four members and uh, all of them were very experienced professors from various IITs and IIC Bangalore and they were experts in their own field. The first round of interview lasted for about 30 minutes where they read my resume and uh, asked me tell me about yourself. Um, after brief introduction, um, um, uh, they asked me about my previous research internship and uh, my inputs and what was my contribution into that uh, particular thing and uh, once um, my research internship uh, thing they started asking me about my research proposal and what idea I wanted to propose so this was the first part this uh, so my introduction consists of what uh, you know my basic introduction and whatever work uh, in field of research and thirdly what idea I was proposing Okay, and after that, this uh, this was the first part of the interview. In the second part, the questions were uh, technical based on uh, specific coursework uh, I had applied. So I had been applying for chemical engineering. So they started asking me questions uh, uh, in specific uh, dealing with the basics and depth of chemical engineering. So I will be reading out you few questions that they had asked me. Um, so they asked me what is the first order reaction. So I started to look, oh my god, they're asking so simple question, but uh, slowly they used to go in the depth. So after that, they asked me to write down the formula and explain it the term. This is the happy moment, these are easy questions. But then from here starts the grilling. So um, how to perform experiment to determine the rate of reaction? What are the different methods? Then uh, which reactor gives more product and why uh, happens? So we have plug flow reactor and CSTR. So they wanted a comparison between. Then they asked me what is the mechanism that is happening? Why uh, this particular uh, reactor gives more concentrated product than this one? Then um, after that they jumped into uh, thermodynamics. So they suddenly asked you your preference of subjects. So you should always prepare four to five subjects out of your entire coursework uh, in which you are very strong. So then in thermodynamics, they asked me uh, define second law of thermodynamics. What is Gibbs free energy, entropy? Uh, what is the difference between internal energy and enthalpy? Uh, so you should uh, mathematically write, um, you know, the formula of gasity and chemical potential. Uh, and thirdly, they asked me uh, regarding to FM, they asked me what is Stokes law? What are the basic assumption made? Um, you know, how you would, uh, you know, uh, verify the stock law through an experiment can you uh, give some example and how this uh, assumptions uh, are being taken into consideration so you should explain with the practical concept and uh, in uh, another in the fourth subject of mass transfer they asked me how do you measure uh, mass transfer coefficient uh, how does mass transfer takes place at what are interference what parameters affected so after the first round see they actually um, start with a very easy question and um, then um, they ask the depth so in this particular interview uh, you should prepare uh, your basic concept well secondly uh, how the formulas are derived what are the assumptions taken in place and what significance it has so uh, this uh, way if you prepare a particular subject you will find this question really easy so after the first round I was very lucky enough to get uh, selected for the second round that is called the final round. Um, the final round was uh, very scary to be frank. Um, it was one versus a lot of professors and 
all of them were uh, you know very skilled so i was the one and i had to face a panel of about 15 professor so after entering room um, i was just asked to sit and uh, they had ppt in which they read about the resume so they did not um, you know there was no need of you know, introduction so they started directly with the question so i am um, going to read out few questions so you can understand hmm, what type of questions were being asked so they asked me to draw the temperature profile of the cold fluid metal and warm fluid placed together then um, how does uh, the temperature profile change and interferes write the equation of the heat transfer so you know so in actually um, okay so they asked me um, what does temperature how does the temperature change and interfere interface so you know they, uh, the particular problem was uh, uh, over here they had this particular temperature profile was there so i had to explain why the temperature profile goes up in this particular way uh, then they asked me write the equation of heat transfer draw the profile when um, you know your one material has higher conductivity and second has the lower one uh, what is the profile if uh, cold fluid resistance is not uh, how to define an oscillate number uh, and secondly they asked me what is Gresham number write its formula define an experiment uh, to determine it uh, then um, they gave me uh, one of the problem statement regarding Bernoulli's um, so they used to tell the uh, problem and I had to draw the problem on the uh, uh, board itself and uh, later on they asked me to solve the particular problem um, and they uh, asked me about experiment define the rate of reaction what happens uh, when uh, in pseudo reaction uh, which experiment supports that and uh, they asked me about explain the rotameter working uh, what are the different forces what assumptions you have made uh, and why you have made those assumptions and uh, they uh, you know they also gave me few problems where i had to draw the particular figure on the board and uh, then i had to find the solution on myself we used to give uh, one or two hints if we went wrong but if you had no idea about it was better to say i don't know and uh, you can uh, give uh, or you can say i can give a try based on the basic concepts so the final round was very grilling but uh, I could say it was an overall um, nice experience and it helped that uh, you have to study your own subject at such a depth.